I'm here to tell us that God wants you to work on your inner life. Don't just be a church goer. Don't just come to church and be like, you know, I'm, I'm just a Christian brother. I'm just a Christian sister. Don't have a face of prayer, but you don't pray. Don't have a face of a spiritual person, but you're not truly spiritual. Be more preoccupied on how does God see me? When I stand before God, what does he see? When I'm weighed in the scale of eternity, what's my weight? Pastor told us everything you see on earth is a product of what is better from the spirit. So don't be so, over, don't be so concerned about how people are looking at you. How do they see me? How do they see me? A humble person is a person that is more aware of how God sees me than how any other person sees me. You are more overtaken by God's commendation, reproof about you than what any other person can say. People can say you are this, you are this, but what is God saying about you? Build with God. That is the only way to build to last. That is the only way to ensure that the seed, you are sowing the right seed and you are sure that at the right time, you will have a harvest. Don't be overtaken by what people say about you or how you look. How does God see me? How do I appear before him? When I stand before him, what does he say? God wants us to be more aware of him than any other thing. God wants us to be more overtaken by his awareness than any other thing. When you are more aware of God than any other thing, you will be intentional in how you live. You will be intentional of what you do. You will be intentional of how you live your life because how you live is, on, is actually targeted towards him. I want us to look into our inner lives today and I want us to make a decision to build with God. There is no man that builds with God that becomes a non-entity. There is no man that builds with God that ends up ordinary. Because God is going to build you. He's going to, he's going to walk on you. He's going to straighten the crooked paths in you. He's going to bring down the proud mountains in you. He's going to exalt the humble valleys in you. God wants to build with us. But for that thing to happen, you have to be more aware of him than, the, than any other thing around you. Are you with me? Somebody say, I have to be more aware about him than any other thing. It's very easy for us as humans to, you know, get so caught up in how we see ourselves or how other people see us or where we feel we are lagging behind. But I came to tell us tonight that the critique you need the feedback you need is what God says. People may applaud you, but God may not be applauding you. People may call you spiritual, but God does not see you anything spiritual. Only a man that truly becomes aware of God and builds with God is built to last. That man is able to sow what he needs to sow per season per time because he's not sowing according to the flesh he's not sowing according to how people see him how people do not see him he's sowing according to how god sees him how god perceives him how god wants him to be so people may be applying and say oh you're doing great but when god comes to you say that people are applauding you you are and you feel like you are something actually you have only covered two percent of what i want you to do so you know that you're actually far from being praised. So the reason many at times a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of our, there is a wrong opinion we have of, about ourselves. There's a wrong perception. There's a wrong understanding. 
You sleep when you are relaxed, right? I, I, how many of you will concur? You want to just relax, you just chill. That's what happens sometimes when you feel that, you know, I've, I've attained some good things. Let me just chill. Let me just sleep. Let me just cool myself down. Praise the Lord. Build with God. Somebody say build with God. Say it again, build with God. Let his presence become more real to you than any other thing. A man that becomes much more aware of God cannot dwell in pride. The reason for pride is maybe you have, maybe you're overestimating yourself, underestimating yourself. Either way, you have a skewed opinion of who you are. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6. I want us to look into this. This will be like the practical ways of what? Building with God. This was the life of the wise son. This was how he lived. Don't live your life according to men's agenda. Don't live your life according to men's praises. Don't live your life according to men's applause or disdain. Live your life according to what God wants. The changes he wants you to make. The steps he wants you to take. 